I'm Jian and I'm majoring in photography at Pet. And today I'm going to talk about Stone Age um, culture and society. Next. So first, this is my outline. First, I'm going to talk about society, then culture, especially the art. And um, in the art, I'm going to talk about cave paintings and sculpture. So first of all, the society, as we can see in this picture, they live in cave and they have a very small society, like 10 to 20 people, and they group together. And also, um, they are, their society is more complex than chimpanzees. Specifically, their society is hunter and gatherer society as shared before the previous presentation. And I'm going to talk it again. So first of all, the men usually go out to hunt the wild animals or fish, or hunting the fish. And women or children, women and children, just stay near near their village and pick up the firewood to cook and pick up some berries, fruits, and nuts and they gather it together and make some food. Next. And the next one is the culture, and I chose the art especially. And the main themes are representing the male dominant society, control, and the desire that they want to control the environment, and their, hunt, their hunting skills, and how to get the food. Next. So the first one is cave painting, and we can divide it, the, divide up the cave painting in two parts. The first one is figurative, and the second one is non-figurative. And I'm going to talk about the figurative paint first. And as the figurative means figure, they draw the clearly defixed figures such as animals or humans. And for animals, they just draw for decorating, or they draw for easier hunting skills. And the humans that they want to record some some stuff that they did for daily lives. And also, I didn't mention, I didn't take the picture in here, but they also have half human and half animal, which is the religious, which is the evidence of religious practice of shamanism. And the next one is non-figurative painting. There are mostly patterns and like shapes and the patterns they usually um in paleolithic area um pa patterns have more than figurative painting and there it was a great evidence that they have uh, some ethnic groups so like each patterns have representing the different ethnic groups in paleolithic area sculptures and they don't have not much sculptures uh, compared to cave painting but mostly they made it from clay woods or rocks stones that they could get easier from the, from the area near they live and most of them are some of them are also animals or human but most of them are gods or goddesses so in this as the sculptures are god and goddesses, we can say that they use the god and goddesses sculptures during their religious practice, especially when they're worshipping or sacrificing some practices. <laughs> 